and do things from like whether I want to change the size of the rows, change the size of the columns, do I want to move things? Eh, that's not a problem. And meanwhile, if I want to input data, all I need to do is type in, we'll say, well, this is where year will be and then this will be north and I'm just hitting the tab key to move between cells I can also use the up and down arrow keys I'm doing that right now I'm using the up and down arrow keys to move in between the cells and then I can simply come up here and say north south east and west I'm just using the tab key to move between those then of course you can input you know more of your data the year is 2006 and north was you know 356 and so I'm, I'm inputting the data into each one of these cells. Now this is kind of cool because this table is going to allow us to, you know, literally present the data in a way that's easy for us to interpret and look at. By the way, obviously, if you really wanted to get hardcore, you can go ahead and bring in Excel spreadsheets and create them as little table spreadsheets right within your document. That's really cool. And so just an op another option. So if you come up here to insert under table, you'll notice one of them is do an Excel spreadsheet. So we can do that. So now back here on our table, though, I can go to my layout. And let's say I decide I've got the year 2006, 2007, and then I want to use 2000. Um, eight, which is our current year, but then I think, oh, wait a minute, I want to show what was in 2005. How can I do that? Well, the good news is if I select here, I can come up and say, I want to insert a row above. And this is, notice it's the bigger of the button because this is the one most people do because they for forget. I, at least that's my theory. <laughs> I'll call Microsoft and check and see why, if that's true. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a row above. I click once. Boom, there it is. So now I have an additional row above. Notice all of the information and data that I had in this row moved down with the 2006. So now I can type in 2005. So now I have that set up. Or let's say we also want to do the year and perhaps um, you know we want to add maybe the, the name of the individual that was selling for this part thing. And so I want to put a column to the left of year to put somebody's name. So that's easy enough to do. All I can do is select anywhere within this column and notice it says I can insert a column to the left, insert it to the right, left, right, fight, 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 whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on insert left and now boom, there it is. And so now I can say name and we'll just say that Bob is the one that we're going to do for 2005, 6, 7, 8. And so you can do some really cool things here by showcasing the data within the table. So this is all has to do with the structure. Now you'll also see that there's some other things that you can do in the way that if you want to merge or take information, um, maybe split cells into multiple new cells, maybe I want to take Bob and, and, and split this cell. All I need to do is click on the split cell and what that does it says alright how do you want to split it into two columns with two rows and you can create your own little uh, you know box here we'll say we'll go ahead with two columns and look at that now I've got Bob and then I've got uh, maybe put his last name in Jones so I got Bob Jones now so you know we can do things like that or We'll go ahead and just remove that. The other thing you can do is notice how I'm, I'm, I see all of these cells down below. Well, what I can do is I can highlight all these cells and I can merge them. Now watch what this is going to do and how it makes it look really neat. I merge it and now look, name Bob. And it just has that one cell there for Bob. And then, of course, the rest of it looks like it's into the grid pattern. That's neat, isn't it? I like it. And so that's one of the other things you can do. You can merge those cells to now this is only considered one cell in the table. By the way, if you want to get more into depth and detail about how cells, rows, columns can work, I highly suggest you take the CBT Nugget series on Excel 2007 with Emily Berry. She will walk you through all the cool things that you can do and why you might want to do that and how it can actually affect your Excel spreadsheets and tables. But for our purposes, this is good enough just to kind of show you how these all work. Now, of course, the layout that you have here of where your data is, notice all of the data comes over here to the left hand side. Well let's say I want to take all of this and center all of my data. I can highlight these, 
come up here and notice I can do a align to the top and center so I can do that I can align it into the center of the entire cell now of course this is only about uh, one space high so it won't look that much different when you do that or you can do it to the bottom that doesn't look but now look what happens if you do it though to the right it moves it all the way to the right and then of course I could say well that's good for numbers but here for the top I want these to be aligned to the left so now you have year north south east west but the numbers align to the right of that particular cell or that particular group of cells that you've selected so that's kinda cool now you can also change the text direction within that because sometimes Bob maybe I wanna make Bob just a little bit bigger I can say the text direction now Bob goes down or I can change it so Bob goes up now this is kinda neat because if I select Bob like this and I get this I can change it maybe I want Bob's name to be in Bauhaus 93 and I want him to be a little bit bigger I want him to be 14 so now Bob shows up there all of this is of course just a way to present the data in a way that it makes it look sharp on your presentations right and that's what we're all here for is make our documents whether they're online or whether you're printing them look really neat now people are gonna say wow that's kinda cool I wonder how Chris or or you know whoever you are did that that's neat now you can show them you can say it's easy take Chris Ward's CBT nugget series and you can find out for yourself how we can change some of that so this deals with the structure of the tables themselves we already saw that all we need to do for any time we're in a table we can add more rows and cells we can split table we can make it to where the the column will automatically fit based upon the text that's within them so if we highlight these and go ahead and grab them all I need to do is then click on auto fit and I can auto fit the contents make it a fixed column width I can do a lot of things so if I do auto fit contents notice it says what's the largest piece of data in these cells that you selected in the columns in this case and that's gonna be how big the cell is now the problem obviously becomes if you get start getting something that's bigger the good news is now that you formatted it this way Word 2007 will automatically adjust the column so that way it looks appropriate. So right here you can see that north and um, has made this one a little bit bigger, east is a little smaller. And so if I come over here into east and I start doing one, two, three, four, five, six, see how it adjusts the size? Because that's now the largest piece of data within that column. Cool, isn't it? All right, so this is how we can do the structure. Next, let's show you how we can do a little bit more with the look and feel and design of our tables. The design or look and feel, some of it obviously we did right here, but really we need to click on the design area, and this is where we get to choose the different table styles that we can use, a little bit of different effects. And again, with the instant preview, we can select anywhere here in this table. Notice the table styles affect the entire table. So if I click here, it shows you what it's going to do for that entire table. You can click down and view other different versions of it and how you might want it to look. But the data itself, you notice, unless it has a different type of font assigned to it, it's going to remain the same. See, Bob looks that, but on this case, they add italics over here on this side. So now with italics on that subheading, it's going to look like that. And you can move down and see the different ways and the different options that you have, and all look really, really good. Now, this is obviously the styles that are put in place. I can make changes simply by coming here and saying, well, I want to change the where it has no border, or there's all borders, or there's inside borders, and there's inside horizontal borders, and you know diagonal down borders, and things like that. I can do that by simply clicking on the borders. And you'll notice that some of the options that you had up here deal with shading that's involved so if I come up here to shading I can use the theme colors and show how you want to get maybe the uh, data right here so if I say well you know for the heading I want to highlight all these cells and then I can change the shading right here where I can come up and say well I want it all to be the the green and the blue or you know red or whatever I want it to be you can choose more colors you can do things like that you can also say well where do you want the table style headings to do you with do you want the header row so you have a special formatting for that first row do you want banded rows which will then go through and say alright well the first row of data that's here will be uh, blank and then the second one will have a bands uh, applied to it you can you know you can do all kinds of different things uh, you know with the banded rows here you know 
blockchain changing the different types of styles that are there. So these tell you what type of table styles that you'll have available. Now, if you want one with a total row, click here, and then now notice it'll say, oh, you want to have a total row at the bottom. So now it will then adjust accordingly. So these are all choices and selections that you can make within your table. So for example, one of the things you might want to do is create one of the quick style tables. Now this is one of the better ways of just kind of looking through. Sometimes it's just better to come in and say, I want to insert a table, click on table, and I want to do a quick table. Now look what happens. Like if you just want to do a calendar, yeah, that's easy. You can do it and it tells you and describes a calendar too. Or you can come down here and scroll down and you can see you can create something like here's our tabular list which is you know what we saw earlier on and we created that you could do subheadings right here and so the nice thing is, is it'll create this one I like this the subheaded two so I'll go ahead and create this and you can then come back in here by the way and then change what the data is instead you can say instrument sales 2005 and then you can say uh, something like uh, uh, sales person and then you can come down here and change any of this and here's where I'll put Bob Jones and again if I want to if I you know you know I'm, I'm inside this if I want to go up to my table design it's gonna have it set up but if I want to make any changes to anything let's say I wanna say all the names over here are gonna have slightly different shading so I'm gonna go ahead and say well I want a light blue or a light red here so I'll do go do that now it's got all set up right here so you can do things like that even within a quick table so depending on what it is that you're trying to do and once you've designed a table that you like you know here's the cool thing all these table styles that you have uh, you, know, you can choose from a whole bunch is you can modify it you can clear it you can create a new table style so if I click on a new table style I can give it a name it's showing you some of the things that I have the the formatting and you can create it any way that you want and then create new documents based on this template isn't that sweet so all of that hard work that you go in and you create with all of these uh, tables and say well you know I, I love this table and you know styles and the things like that well keep it utilize it and that way you can understand the true power of what word 2007 allows you to do is no matter how creative you can think you can be you can be even more creative and then you can save these and share them with the rest of your company with friends family whatever it is that's what makes the office 2007 products so powerful is because of those capabilities so we can we don't have to reproduce the work okay so if I want to by the way let's say you want to get rid of the entire table you can select the entire table and then hit delete and it will then get rid of all of the data here and then you can start over from scratch if you want now the last thing that we're going to do is go ahead and let's say we already have text in place and I want to take this text and I just want to create a table based upon this well again you can come up to insert tables and now notice down here you have convert the text to tables so it's gonna take all of this information and it's gonna take it and create a table I can go ahead and click that it's gonna ask us well based upon what you've selected you want five columns and you want a number of rows is right now for three now notice it's grayed out that's okay if you need to add more what do you do you're going to come up here and then add them, so not a, not a problem. You can do fix column width, auto. You can auto fit to the contents. Auto fit to the entire window to make sure it works. And then notice it recognizes that this is tabbed data. You can separate text at paragraphs, commas, even dashes or hyphens that you have there. So it all depends on the text. I can go out to notepad and have a whole bunch of comma separated uh, text, highlight it, copy it, paste it into my document and then come in here and convert it to a table and then use all of the design features to take and make that into a really fancy table talk about smooth and talk about powerful that's what we're able to do so in this case we know it's tab so we go okay that's what we want to do I click OK boom there it is year north south east and west and it's all set up hey do i want to do any design to this yeah no problem i'm going to you know to select this table and we're going to go ahead and use that boom there we go and now everyone says wow 
How do you guys do this? It's because you can use the design and layout table tools that come with your Word 2007. We covered a lot in this Nugget video.